don't really care about the kill list. That wasn't the point. All right, world, skate world, reset it. Let's at least take a look at how the world starts. I'm just trying to decide if I need to adjust anything. I'm actually fine with her stats. I guess the... The schizophrenia is not my friend. <laughs> hey, where's my schizophrenia? I don't have schizophrenia on this. Why do I not have schizophrenia on this? New game, custom, no, preset, last character, skate world. Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> Huh. Huh, it's bugged. Alright. Well, let's jump back in. Uh, so, whoops. No, I'm not finished. No. So if I go to traits, does it show schizophrenia? Yes, it does. Alright, so yeah, it is bugged in that regard. Alright, so... That's the list, plus schizophrenia. <laughs> um, but if I remove schizophrenia, I have to pick a couple others to equal it. How much is the schizophrenia screwing with me? Schizophrenia is how many points? Five. So if I took that off, what could I take to replace five points? Uh, I could take the normal stuff like Truth Teller and so on, because I don't really care about that. So now I need four. Strong Scent is fine. Need three. Poor Hearing. Just need one more point. Schizophrenia is not usually that bad. It's just in combination layered on top of the other problems, it might be a bit much. It did cause a few issues. I guess, <laughs> really, schizophrenia plus killing the first NPC and getting that negative 100 morale, which <laughs> made it so I couldn't learn anything, I couldn't read books, I couldn't read uh, martial arts manuals, I couldn't check engine mending options. <laughs> I had two or three things that kind of overlapped that really made that one a pretty tough run. Um, <laughs> can't take leg tentacles. What well, is one of the other one pointers that I usually take up top here? I guess I could go genetic chaos. No, I'm worried about taking something like genetic chaos because my feet might alter and then I wouldn't be able to wear my rollerblades, so I don't want that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bad knees to go along with my rollerblades. Moving over rough terrain will slow you down more than normal. <laughs> That'd be like 250 movement points to go across to uneven ground. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, how about Animal Discord? I really don't care if animals like me or not. Yeah, let's go with Animal Discord. All right, so we've recovered the five points. So everything else is going to be identical for now. That gets rid of schizophrenia, which takes some of the edge off. Alright. We'll at least take a look at what the world looks like. Roller Girl 3. Alright, big old forest and swamp area. <laughs> Uh, Cataclysm, you're so funny. Cataclysm's hilarious. 
I didn't think that last map could be any worse. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. I have a basin. I have a road that goes to a missile silo. And that's it. And I'm wearing rollerblades deep in the middle of a forest. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. This I'm not taking. <laughs> no, no, no. Commit suicide. <laughs> Not even I can put up with that. I don't care what that NPC might have had or might have done. Uh, Alright, skate world. Oops, world. Skate world reset. New game. Last character. Skate world. All right, that I can live with. At least I got some options. I'm still out in the middle of nowhere. And there's a hospital! <laughs> Instant auto dock! Hmm. <laughs> well, prison, a hospital. That's not a toxic waste, is it? Hazardous waste sarcophagus. And some houses. So yeah, I got the hospital. One one thing down. Now I just have to get enough gear or a vehicle and feel like I can get it cleared out. What sucks about that hospital is I can't drive around the goddamn thing. I'm going to have to clear it the hard way. It's not out in the field, so I can't just drive around it. And I can't skate around it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a mansion, but uh, I don't know. If I were to pick any any direction, it would be to go straight south to that road and then rollerblade my way over to this this housing group. That's what I would pick initially. The only alternative I see would be to go up diagonal and assume that this road connects to this mansion. Hope it wraps down. Um, I might be able to clear a mansion with my uh, claws. So yeah, it's a pretty important decision whether to go northeast or northwest, I mean, and then try to loop into the mansion on a road or go south and then follow the road to the houses. Mansion's a pretty good one-stop shop for getting the initial gear. Well, usually lots of food and water, cooking supplies and such. A chance to get the medieval gear from the front entry. I just hate the new mansions. I just find them really boring to go through. I'm going to go south and to the housing. If for whatever reason it doesn't work out, then I'll take this road and see if it connects up. But first things first, I gotta survive to get to the road in my on my rollerblades. So let's take a look. Take off our headgear. Hey there you. Oh, he's one of the fancy ones. I think he's a mutated one. Yep, he's a furry. <laughs> uh how do I see the extended? Wielding nothing. No backpack, so no pressing reason for me to uh, <laughs> try to kill the guy. Not sure what other traits he might have. Alright, let's chat with Lawrence. What's the matter? Oh, poor guy's mom. I'll do it. Not a problem. Travel with me, zero, 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 59% intimidate. So I sh do, I, do I get the negative if he gets mad at me? Intimidate. All right, he joined me, awesome. All right, uh, tell me about yourself. He's a bovine snout, bovine, canine ears, deformed, furry hooves, horns, huge, 
<laughs> oh, he's a tank. He's a tank. I need to get this guy an all pike. Oh, he desperately needs an all pike. Now he's got hooves. Does hooves cause a problem for carrying? Or does that affect just the feet? Yeah, just his feet. Yeah, I definitely need to get this guy a uh, big heavy weapon. Very strong tank. Eddie's schizophrenic. <laughs> Alright, well I gotta play this one out just because this guy is amusing. This guy is really, really amusing. Strength 13. Uh, okay. <laughs> schizophrenic cow. <laughs> Alright, he's got 6 unarmed, 5 melee. Uh, I actually don't need to give him much. I think he's going to take care of anything that shows up. So I got my guide. So that's good. Um, trade items, a lighter, and antibiotics. Alright. Like both of those, thanks. And let's see. Um, don't teach me anything right now. Combat commands, change engagement. Let's do enemies I attack first. Don't use guns. That should be fine. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true, Karacher. I intimidated him. <laughs> I intimidated the super strong schizophrenic tank cow. Okay, so I got my 250 power. Here's what we start with if for anybody that has not followed along so far. So I've got uh, the lighter and the antibiotics are actually really useful off of him, so that's a good find. Um, but otherwise, I'm... Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta debug in my rollerblades. This is part of the theme. So, rollerblades. One. Where? Rollerblades. Alright, now we are kosher. I've got my rollerblades on, and again, for anybody wondering, in the chat screen you can use the uh, commands uh, exclamation point challenge. That'll give you an overview of what I'm doing and what the point of this challenge is. And for anybody that can't see that, it reads, Vorm plays as a delusional bionic monster named Roller Girl, an unfortunate young post-human woman with twin obsessions, her roller blades, which are built into her feet and she cannot ever take off, and increasing her beauty. Using the experiment scenario and bionic monster profession, Vorm attempts to survive the cascade of failing bionics in pursuit of becoming a post-threshold elf A mutant with the glorious trait. So, she's got roller blades stuck to her feet, built in as part of her bionics, and I fake that in with the debug menu. And then her goal is to become more beautiful. She's concerned about her looks and wants to become an elf A mutant with the glorious trait. So, here is, oops, here is the big problem for anybody that's joined recently. All of these negative bionics, this one here in particular, the leaky bionic. That bastard continuously poisons you and makes your hidden health stat drop and drop and drop, which has secondary consequences that get more and more severe and will eventually kill you. So, the only way I can get rid of that is by getting to an auto dock in the hospital. And I know where it's at, but clearing a hospital early game is hard. Super hard. So... I'm a little unhappy that the hospital is wrapped into a massive forest area because that means I can't skate around it, I can't drive around it in a vehicle, honking my horn and luring all the zombies out. Um, it's going to make that really, really tough. So, it might come down to me trying to lure out zombies from the front, getting into the auto dock room, quietly enough that nothing knows I'm there, spending a few hours just standing there, making sure nothing shows up, and then taking the risk of trying the auto dock. Because what's going to happen when I try to use it is it's going to put me to sleep, and you can't wake up during the surgery. So if anything does happen to find you and wander in, you're basically dead. 
Oh, I just forgot. We got the bonus of the Woodville showing up because the quest. Hey there, Organs Hingeman. <laughs> Thanks very much for the uh, subscription. Really appreciate it. So yeah, I didn't realize after we took the quest that Woodville got uh, uh, revealed. And I really, really like this Woodville area. You can see I've got some isolated houses up here. That's really good for me. And the quest location's right there. And it shouldn't be a problem for him and I to kill that mom, assuming we don't have too many other zombies to deal with. So now I have to think. Because trying to get into the places in the dark is going to be a problem. If I approach the town from this direction, I'm likely to get a whole bunch of attractive attraction from zombies in this area. I would rather come at it from the north, from the forest side. If I can, if I feel like I can do it safely, so maybe rollerblade. So I'm thinking of maybe going out this direction, stay north enough that I don't attract what's at the hospital, then work my way down to this road, and then come down this way. I don't know. I'm worried about how many zombies are going to be out in these these woods between the city and the hospital. How to do this? If I don't get on concrete, I'm going to get killed pretty quick by anything dangerous that shows up. Because the rollerblades are going to massively slow me down until I get uh, solid ground under me. Or flat ground, that is. This NPC is going to be a pretty big help. If I can keep him alive, I think I'm going to go due east. I think I'd, I, I think I would prefer to do that. I'd rather go due east, about the same amount of forest either way, and then I'll cut down through the field here to, to get to the road. Hopefully, maybe right about here, then I'll kind of sort of work my way down the road until I'm right at the very outer edge of any zombies in sight, and then cut back into the forest and try to work my way down into that house. I just need to keep myself alive till nighttime. As soon as nighttime hits, as anybody that's been watching, I can move around in that city pretty much at will, grabbing the things I need. The big challenge right now is to get into a house quietly enough that I can hang out there and not have the uh, cold exposure, that kind of stuff, and I've got some kind of food and water available to me. So... Yeah, Smashbot will definitely help. Um, I'm thinking of just leaving him barehanded. Let me chat with him again. <clears throat> Not yet. Uh, tell me about yourself again. So... Don't care, don't care. Hooves. That's just his feet. This allows kicking attacks to do much more damage, so he's going to get free kick attacks because of his shoes. He's also got horns, so he's going to get a horn attack. So he's going to get triple attacks. He's super strong, super large. He's going to get his hand-to-hand -hand unarmed attack to go along with a gore attack with his horns and the uh, kick attack from his hooves. Man, this dude's going to be a beast, literally. If I can keep him alive for a little bit. It's got five and a half dodge skill effective, five melee, and six unarmed. I like this guy. I'm really impressed that I was able to intimidate him. All right, so we're going to go due west. We're going to, it's going to take me forever to get out of the edge of this forest. The forest and the plains are pretty much the same movement rate, and I need to stay in cover, so. Tank is the absolute top level of the you have grown larger. So it goes like large, huge, <laughs> giant tank. So he's basically a Hulk, just only taking up a single space. <laughs> I like his little horn sticking out. He's got his hooves. It's going to be pretty entertaining. I'm wondering why he can wear a motorcycle helmet with horns. I don't think they let me do that. Alright, dude. Come with me. 
We'll grab a little bit while I travel. Uh, uh oh, Keck. Keck is Keck straight ahead of me. Yep, there's going to be a body sight up ahead. We might get to find out uh, how well he does against Migos. Giant web spider. Alright. Crow and a black rat. We're making progress. Yep, body sight. There's the items. I see a lighter, which I've already got, and some other gear. Um, I haven't seen a Mego or anything yet. There's a hatchet. Come with me, tank dude. Let's go get some... Oh, backpack! <laughs> we got lucky! Hey there, Mr. Crack. Oh, goody. What do we got? Hiking boots, I don't care. Windbreaker that fits. Alright, what do I have again? Almost damn near nothing. Let's wear the windbreaker. Take the hatchet. I ignore the rest for the moment. We've got some water. Awesome. Sweatshirt that fits. I think I'm going to wear that temporarily also. Beer! We got beer! Alright, cancel that. More beer and some marijuana. Cargo shorts. Hmm. Let's grab the marijuana. I'm gonna leave the beer. Got a canteen, a lighter. Oh man, there's a lot of good stuff here. This is a big, uh, big body site. Pack. Uh, hat, camisole, don't care. Leave me alone, you stupid blob. Cargo pants that fit. We're going to wear those. I'm going to overload on clothing items initially. Wear the backpack. Oh, here comes a moose. We might have some cow on moose action. <laughs> oh, man. Huh. Yeah, this is number three. <laughs> hmm. Mr. Moose. I really don't want to tangle with a moose. I'll probably yell at him to chase him off. Good lighter. Some vodka. Oh, two backpacks. Oh, man. More cargo pants that fit. I don't remember. Did I check this one? And a canteen for water. Ooh, leather jacket as well. Let's wear the leather jacket. Alright, my torso is really, really... Actually, 42 is not too bad. Get on the inside, backpack. All right, leather jacket, that gets me two points. One for the sweatshirt, two for the windbreaker. That's five, six. Some of the coverages suck, so I'll only count these. That's five. That's a decent start. Got our cotton hat. I don't have any glasses. And I've got the cargo pants and shorts. So, are there any... See a single pair of socks. Nope, no socks. All right. Well, so far we've gotten pretty lucky. We got two backpacks. We got a canteen for holding some water. Um, some decent clothes. We got our carry capacity up. Got some water and some vodka. Yeah. So far, it's looking pretty good. 
Let's see. Not gonna go that way. I want some dogs to come mess with me right now. Oh, there's some moose on dog action. Uh oh, southeast. That's pretty much the direction I'm heading, huh? Hello, dogs and a bunch of bodies. Dog corpse. Dog corpse. I want to test a couple of things. So first thing I'm going to do is activate my claws. Let's get those things out. Come here, dog. Come here. Don't run away. All right, fine. Run away. I'll just come down to the body. All right. I never did, in two tries so far, two runs, use this other bionic. Water extraction unit. Extract water from the dog corpse. Yes. 60 clean water? <laughs> what? <laughs> 54 to go. <laughs> Good God. Huh. All right. And it did take power. I think I was at 150 power because it took 100 for the claws. So I think it took 50 to activate the bionic. That's the other thing I wanted to take. Uh, I don't think I have another container unless I dump the vodka. Do I want to dump the vodka? Actually, I can't. In between these, I'm going to have to cancel. But it says there's some left over. I'm at 100. So... I'm not going to worry about it. I've got the canteen. I've got a plastic bottle. That's plenty of water. I know how it works now. That's a crazy amount. That must be just totally dehydrated at this point. But it still says it's a corpse that I could butcher for meat. So let's butcher it for some meat. That's um, that's pretty pretty good to know. All right. So let's. Oops. Get off my. Oh, there it is. Butcher. Grab the meat. Alright, if I can manage to sneak into a house and uh, get a pot, we are set. Moose in the area. And everything's to my east. Pretty much, ooh, there's the minefield. Where's the other sign? Must be down to the south, so... We shall go north. Uh, hello, Moose. Keep running into Mr. Moose. Problem is, that noise... Eh, maybe we're far enough away. I think we're far enough from the hospital that that won't attract anything. Sure hope so. How are we doing? Getting close. Ooh, tan bark? Eh, no. Not used to having carry capacity this early. All right, nothing in sight but a dog. And we are out in the fields. 175 points to move a space. So, next job, angle down towards that road, making sure I stay well out of range of the hospital. Don't need to kill any more dogs. Uh, yeah, it does work on zombies as well. <coughs> I don't really generally have problems with food and water. It's got to be a pretty severe situation and start position for me to ever have food and water problems, generally. Um, bear and a moose in sight. 
There's the road. We're almost to pavement. Our feet are itching to reach pavement. Oh, look at this road network. There's another T intersection right there. Okay. Major goal number one has been accomplished. We are on concrete. 75 points to move when I walk. Which makes me faster than even zombie dogs just walking generally. Okay. I think I need to take another quick break. Um, I'm actually like an hour and a half over my next break. <laughs> um, so, when I come back, we're going to skate down the road. I might skate north and see if there's something up here before we head south. Because I think I've got enough warmth. Oh, my hands. I forgot to look for gloves. That's what I meant to look for. All I've got is the hand wraps currently. So we are suffering some chill from the... If I didn't have that, I would be tempted to go north because I've got some food and water. Um, so I don't have an immediate emergency there. And it would be better for me if I waited till night before I went to that town. Because I can move around pretty much at will at night. <clears throat> and I should have a pretty easy time getting into one of those houses and getting set up. So, yeah. Yeah, we got chili. Uh, the mouth and the left hand, oh, actually right, la right hand, left hand, yeah, they're both going to be chilly. Hmm, we'll see. But I'm going to take another quick break, so we've got about five minutes, um, maybe a couple of more. I've got to uh, get some tea so I can continue. I will be playing for probably another, well, if this guy stays alive, a couple more hours at least. So, um, hope you're here when I get back. See you in just a few minutes.
Okay, I'm back. All right. Um, what were we doing? Out in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, same plan. Let's go to the intersection, then we'll make a decision from there. But I feel much, much better now that I am... Oh, crap. I forgot I've got a buddy in tow. I'm going to have to adapt my <laughs> normal process to account for having tank cow behind me. Hmm. Well, for the moment, it's not going to make a difference. And Amigo. Another body site nearby. Oh, Double Amigo. Good old Double Amigo scientist. Scientist is going to go down. Amigo is going to barely be hurt. Um, so a science site. I definitely want to check it out, but do I want my buddy to go up against two Migos? And of course, they're on the road. I have FEMA camp. <laughs> uh, quite the map. Quite the map. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I might tell my buddy to stay here while I go play some Migo FEMA camp games. Yeah, I need gloves, and um, body site's the best place for me to try to get some, although a scientist site isn't the most likely to have gloves. I'd love to find a soldier site, um, get some tack gloves or something. Um, I'm just deciding a good way for me to deal with those Migos is to drag them up to the FEMA camp, let all the soldier zombies and other zombies in the FEMA camp tear them apart, because I can easily outmaneuver the zombies more so than the Migos. Um... I'm just worried about my buddy. I'm thinking of going north off-road and then cutting across to the road. But I still want to get some kind of an idea what's up this way before I come back and start dealing with this area. So, let's cut that corner. Looks like a sidewalk is starting up there. Meaning, yep, hotel. Motel, that's perfect. Motel is exactly what I want. Motel would be awesome for this situation. <clears throat> so a motel might have a map. It's going to have plenty of places for me to hole up. It's a little close to the FEMA camp, but uh, it's a short trip down to the town or into the hospital. It's out in the middle of nowhere. All right. It's going to have zombies I'm going to have to clear, so hopefully my buddy's up for the task. At least we've got the antibiotics if either of us takes a bite and gets full infection. So, that is my new goal. And there's also going to be vehicles up there, so... Alright, what do we got coming at us? Tough zombie, couple of cars... Uh, this is the back side of the motel, so the pool's going to be... The road going to cut down here? Is the pool right here? Or is it up here? Hmm. Well, we're going to see how this guy does against this tough zombie. This is a good test right here, after the zombie finishes chasing these squirrels. Or coyotes. Oh, coyotes coming after me? Alright, I'm going to stand right here. I want to see how my guy does on his own. Oh crap, tough zombie's going to be chasing coyotes all over the place. <laughs> All right, there we go. Go get him, buddy. Tough zombie tries to grab, breaks it, lunges, dodges. Uh, oh, I've got him on the wrong command. <laughs> Not yet. Combat commands, change engagement. Uh, there, attack enemies that get too close. All right. Fight back, dude. There you go. That's what I like to see. Headbutts the tough zombie with his horns. Whacks the tough zombie. Dodges. Oh my goodness. Smashes the tough zombie. Kicks the tough zombie. <laughs> We're going to have us some fun if I can keep this guy alive. <clears throat> I 
Oh, he killed the uh, coyote. <laughs> More meat. Uh, sure, I'll grab the sinew and the bones while I can carry stuff. Alright, so there's the pool. Pool's in sight. Let's check out these vehicles. Hazmat zombies tearing apart. What do we got? Tiny bit of gas, no battery. No seat, no seat belt. Again, tiny bit of gas, a good battery. Let you take care of my light work. Hey, radiation badge. <laughs> Medical gloves, no thanks. You're going to pump that. You're going to pulp that guy, right? Okay, he is pulped. Scooter? Can we can we double up on the little tiny scooter? Look at that, 100% battery, no gas. Hmm, a little bit of gas on the scooter could work, but I brake scooters way too easy. <clears throat> Uh-oh, acid zombie. That's what I fear. I fear the acid zombie. My buddy's going to be terrible against acid zombies. I don't have any ranged attack. So the acid zombie is going to be the problem. Rex, Rex. Really hope there's a vehicle on the other side of the road. Um, I'm going to do this. Tell him to stay by himself while I go deal with these guys. Kind of funny. I'm just worried about how he's going to deal with the acid zombie. He's going to kill it quick, but he's going to stand there right in the middle of the acid pool, which is going to mess him up. Yeah, amigos are pretty rough. With my buddy here, I think we could take him pretty quick, but we'd take some damage. So I'd rather come up with a creative way of dealing with amigos. <clears throat> But we need to clear this motel. This is too good an opportunity. I just have to make a decision on the acid zombie and dealing with him. Yeah, it's totally a speed problem. I'm not going to be able to take him on my night raids, but for things like this, he's awesome. I just got to be careful when and where I use him. Acid is going to be a bit rough. So I'm debating whether I pick those things up so I could throw them at the acid zombie. I'm thinking of telling him to wait here while I skate in and just pepper this acid zombie with uh, chunks of steel and rocks. I think I'm going to try it. So let's chat with Lawrence. Not yet. Guard this position. See you around. Alright. I'm going to try to get the acid zombie's attention. Hopefully all by himself. Come on, Acid Zombie. Spot me already. Alright, so Acid Zombie spotted me. Hopefully I get just him, and I'm just going to skate around and toss things at him. Throw. Hmm. 
Not doing much damage. Alright. Might be stuck with just rocks. <laughs> Seven damage, nine damage, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Moderately injured already, so whoa, whoa, a few more rounds and I should get him. Except for when I miss, totally. Grazing hit for two. Eh, let's let him get a little closer. There we go. Good hit for 10. Another grazing hit. Yeah, I needed a couple more rocks. I thought the... Uh-oh. Now it has mad zombies coming. Mm -hmm. A little faster than I wanted there. How we doing? Heavily injured. Twelve damage. Nearly dead. Alright. I know this isn't the sexiest way to kill a zombie, but uh... I really want to keep that guy protected against this acid. I think it would be a really bad thing. Alright, come on down. Chat, Lawrence. Not yet. Come with me. Alright, take care of my light work, Lawrence. Screwdriver. That was nice of him. Oxygen pack's good. <clears throat> filter mask. I think I will take the filter mask. Go away, acid. All right, so we got the acid zombie down. Now nah, he wouldn't. He won't pulp acid. Back to walk mode. Get my stamina back. Hopefully, we're not looking at too many more special zombies, and he can just wait on in. I'm just going to stand here and watch. <laughs> Beast mode! Fifty, 50 units of 9 mil ammo. Sling pack. Nah, I got two backpacks already. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, we got a map. We got two maps. We got two maps. A survivor's map and a tourist guide. Ooh, does either of those? Tourist guide is not going to show hospitals. Survivor's map. I don't remember if survivor's map shows hospitals or not. But we got two maps. Yeah, I should probably grab some more stones, but I'm gonna not for the moment. All right, survivor's map, tourist map. Trying to remember, tourist guide, hotels and attractions, and survivor's map, gun stores and gas stations. I don't think it's going to show me another hospital, but I've already got one nearby, so not a loss. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and activate one of the maps. Let's do the survivor's map. Let's take a look. What do we got? Uh, so, that mansion is right on the edge of a town. That's interesting. I mean, literally, right up against a town. That's a pretty good-sized town as well. Look at all these things. Pharmacy, 
pharmacy, grocery stores, only one gun store listed, and beyond that it's pretty much open territory. Oh, <laughs> look at Loon, look at Lunenburg. Tiny, tiny little town. Gun store, gun store, gun store. <laughs> Yeah, this here's America. All right, big old bridge. That's a lot of water. Hope I don't have to go over that direction. So nothing much popped up in North Smith or Emden. South End, we do have a doctor's office and a doctor's office. That's great. Three fire stations, one garage, one vet clinic. All right, a couple of grocery stores in the north end. So, so far, I cannot complain at all about the arrangement. Um, FEMA camp's going to be a bit of a pain being in between me and the town down there. But I'm still going to try to clear the hotel here, or the motel. Then I might stay here until night. Then skate on down to try to clear and make sure I've got a house available so that I can use that as my temp base. And then we'll probably try to finish that quest just to make my NPC happy. Um, all right. Anything else kind of out this way? Yeah, it'll be quite a while before I need to go anywhere, so I'm not going to worry about it. Hopefully we find another map that uh, has other hospitals in case this one for some reason goes horribly, horribly wrong. All right. Hello, shady zombies. Oh, come on! <laughs> God damn it. Grrr. Good old NPC shady zombie crash. No idea what caused that. Hopefully the autosave kicked in somewhat recently. Grrr. I better still have my maps. Oh man, it's back before I killed the uh, acid zombie. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Instant coyote death. Alright, well I guess this is an opportunity for me to pick up some more rocks. What did he just kill? Oh, hazmat zombie. <laughs> it takes me so long to move. Hey look, Prussian blue! I'm going to miss out on some of the gear that I just picked up, though. That's going to make me a little unhappy. Uh, rock that way, rock down that way, and rock up that way. Hmm. Go out and get this one first. I think I was close enough that my maps should have already generated. I'm really hoping so. I'm going to be pretty annoyed if I get over there and there's not a single map. Alright, back south. Hey, look, somebody else can get the morale penalty. You gonna be all sad now? I think it might have changed. If the acid zombie's gone, I think it's reset everything over here, and I'm gonna be pretty annoyed because I think my maps are gone. Because it, it has reset the zombies. There's a bunch more standard zombies up here now, and I don't see the acid. Yep, I'm going to get unhappy. Jeez. That is some vicious killing there. There's one map. I can't see the other space. Yep, we're down to one map. <laughs> so it did reset. A standard road map. All right, that's fine, as long as I got a map. Oh, we got an ambulance over there, too.
Man, this guy's a brute. Uh, can't drive. And... Got gas, it's got battery, it's got the controls, no wheels. Pretty good up until then, and it's empty. Oh, empty ambulance. Alright, come get me zombies. I dare ya. I'd like you to meet Mr. Cow. Jeez. Smith and Wesson, we have a gun. Bubble wrap. Alright, not gonna worry about that. Let's go get our map. Get the hoodie. Um, sure. Wear the hoodie temporarily. Let's activate our map. And it probably just reset all the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we reset the game world as well. <laughs> Actually, I think this was there before. This had to have been there before. It just didn't show up earlier. So the road map is showing me hospitals. So I got two hospitals near Woodville. So we're not leaving this area for quite a while. <laughs> we have two opportunities to get into an auto dock. I'm definitely going to have to skate down that way and see. This at least gives me road all the way around the hospital. And if it's clear fields and I can get a working vehicle out of town, then I can do the... Uh, Pied Piper maneuver to hopefully try to clear out a bunch of these things. 